Hello, my name is Shallow. This is Preacher Map 2, Babel. And it looks like we are inside the Tower of Babel. That's a, uh, that's a nice turn of events. Usually we just get to see it from the, the map screen in Doom 1. Oh, exit right behind us. Nope. Bye. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Sorry about your knees there, Dante. Probably should have taken that elevator. That's yeah, okay. I think it's so funny that the uh, Tower of Babel keeps coming up in Doom. It's a uh, whoop. Oh, right in the imp's face, huh? All right. The original Tower of Babel story, if I'm remembering right, has nothing to do with demons. <laughs> it's a, uh... Ooh. It's a tower built by humans, by people, that was destroyed by God. <laughs> and it keeps showing up in Doom as, as a demonic... evil structure. Maybe that's one of those things that, like, modern apocryphal stuff has, has sort of reinterpreted a lot of modern uh, understandings of demonology and hell has nothing to do with anything from any actual religion. It's, it's mostly uh, fiction or fables or various political metaphors. <laughs> that have been reinterpreted as part of religion. Um, the Divine Comedy has a lot more to do with uh, Dante Alighieri's gripes with uh, Italian politicians of his day than it does uh, with Christianity, but it's sort of over time turned into uh, whoop an unofficial part of the Christian mythos. Perhaps the same is true for the Tower of Babel. I'm not, I'm not certain about that, but it seems likely there's a, is, whoa, that is one imp <laughs> just teleporting rapidly between, between two lines. Interesting. This is a really cool tower. I love that. Just a giant. Oh, a lot of just giant fuck off elevators. Let's see if I can hop onto this. Yep. Okay, no, no secrets there. Just, just a couple of armors. Got to get your faith up. Oop. A couple of potions here. Oh, not potions. Sorry, they're holy water now. Yeah. That makes sense. That actually makes more sense as a healing item than the uh, potions the original Doom had. I always thought the potions were a weird choice. Is, uh, was the UAC making health potions? <laughs> they were developing, a uh, some kind of sports drink. They, they were making Gatorade. <laughs> it's either that or the more obvious interpretation is that they are hell artifacts that have come over with the demons and for some reason the demons brought a bunch of healing items with them yeah I don't know it doesn't make any sense <laughs> even the design of it I always thought was weird all the other healing items in the game are red the uh, stim packs and the the uh, med kits. And then you've got blue for the, uh, well, I guess the soul sphere is blue, so. The newer um, Red Cross complaint compliant versions of the stim packs and the med kit. Ah, oh, those are so boring to me because th there was, there's so much. You could have got really creative with that. And they just decided to do a big goofy pill? To turn the cross green? I don't know. 
Those are the most boring options they could have gone with. And they're the ugliest, too. I think one choice would have been to make the crosses blue. Make them match the potions. Oh! Alright, well that was no good. Ooh! Hallelujah! Well, I'm immediately gonna... Oh, come on! <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> well, that was that was dumb. That was incredibly dumb. Um, is it up there? I did see a Jesus sphere hanging out out of the corner of my. Eye. Does this go back up? Whoa! Perfect. The blue Bible. And how do I get you? How do I get... How do I get Jesus Sphere? Probably from up top. Yeah. I was in the middle of a thought there, wasn't I? Before I fell off the tower. Whoop! Hold still. Oh, that is a great texture. This whole map has great textures, but... Circle textures like that are always fun, because it's... It's hard to make those shapes with sectors. Hmm. Oh, we got knights up there now. Okay. This whole tower is just kind of shifting as I move up. It's really cool. It's got a bit of a, I don't know, MC Escher vibe to it. The way it keeps changing. Okay, these... That revenant... Oh, the revenant's infighting. Okay, good. Give me the rockets. Oh. Duh. Jesus Sphere? Yes! <laughs> Not a secret, interestingly enough. Or maybe I didn't touch the sector the right way. Um... You're not infighting. Oh! Okay. Great. Perfect. I was being so careful moving backwards down the stairs to not face rocket myself and the... Friggin' rabbit and just teleports right into me. Alright, that mancubus has gotta go. He's causing me too many problems for too long from way over there. I love how there are multiple ways up this tower. This is great. Ooh! Ooh! More mancubuses. So that, um... That round pentagram teleporter we took at the beginning, that was exactly like the one in the first map. So every map, I guess, must have... a static starting area that's the same every time. Just a little opening intro area, and then you step through the teleporter, and that's what is uh, the randomized part. I was a little confused what they meant by random starts in the description, but I think I'm starting to sort of get it now. Where is that guy? There he is. Oop, arrow. All right. That changes it. This is the worst map now, because there's an arrow. <laughs> arrow means it's a bad map. <laughs> what is this, Into Sandy's Tower? The Tower of Sandy? Go away, Imp. Nobody likes you. Okay, I need that key to go back down so I can jump onto it. I'm pretty sure I can't make that jump if it's up. There we go. Ooh! Did that archfile teleport? Did he teleport, or is he stuck up there? Oh! <laughs> I'm bringing him to me. Come here. Come here. Yes! That's how we do it. That's how we deal with archviles in these parts. 
Oh, he brought the Mancubus back. Of course he did. <laughs> Great. Oh, and there he goes. Get back down here. God took down the first Tower of Babel. The second one I'm going to have to do myself. Several times, apparently, because they won't stay dead. Rude. Disrespectful. Uh, one secret missing. Uh, I suspect it's probably where that Jesus sphere was. I think I probably just didn't properly step on that sector. Let me see if I can... Oh, yeah, so that's how that random teleporter works. I'm pretty sure this is not where I came in the first time. Um, back up, please. Uppies! <laughs> Asking the Lord for uppies. That's basically what, um... <laughs> that's what the rapture is, right? That's when Jesus comes back and gives you the biggest uppies. <laughs> um, here we go. <laughs> Was it here? No. Here? Ah, there we go. Okay, so I was correct in my assessment there. Nice. That's all the kills, all the items, all the secrets. Ah, uh, let me grab this armor before I go. Uh, the faith, I mean. <laughs> You gotta have faith for that to work. Wonderful map. Oh, the way everything's just sort of shifting around and pulsating. And beautiful, gorgeous textures. Mm. Nice. Tower of Babel down. Sacrificial altar. Ah. Oh, this looks like a Doom 64 map out here. Cool. Oh. That is great. <laughs> I love that rocket launcher pickup sprite. The uh, first person sprite is definitely just from blood. But the pickup sprite is new. It's an edit of the... Uh, of the Doom 2 rocket launcher sprite. Made to look like the blood... Flamethrower? Napalm cannon? I forget what it's called in blood. Let's save the blue armor for later. Ooh! Ooh, this is big. Okay. Well, let's get this party started. Yeah, those shotgun guys gotta go. Lost souls, fuck off please. Okay. There's still lost souls about. I don't love that. Who? Revenants? Revenants where? Where revenants? Here they come. There's chain gunners. Ooh, that's a cool chain gunner sprite. Oh, uh, were there chain gunners in this yet? I don't think we've seen chain gunners yet. That might be the first chain gunner. Jeez, okay. They just keep pouring into this arena, huh? I mean, I already thought it was gonna be a pretty big fight, but uh, the longer I stay in there, the more stuff shows up. There we go. Okay, that still opens. I was briefly worried that coming in here was gonna lock me in. Oh! <laughs> I should have been less worried about the door, worried of, uh, more worried about the souls. Let's see if we get a better spawn this time around. And actually, I am gonna grab that blue armor. Things get a little hectic as soon as we step out. Yeah, this is different. This... This looks like a better start. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh! Okay, so there's the outside area. Yes! Get everything stuck in the doorway. Perfect. Lost soul, you're ruining it for me. Ooh! 
Okay. When 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 was when were you guys gonna tell me there was a mancubus up there? <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> Blaming you for that one. Come on, where were you, my co-pilot? <laughs> okay. All right, I think I did a decent amount of damage. No, there's still a ton of them. I was hoping I'd clogged up that doorway with rockets enough to have cleared out a bunch of these guys, but there are so many more still. Um, you know the pistol sound in this. I like it. I think maybe, maybe the uh, shotgun needs... Ooh, that guy got pulped. The shotgun needs a tougher sound, because the pistol sounds louder and tougher than the shotgun does. Which, in the player's hands, I think is not a big deal. The player knows what they're using. It's, it's mainly a problem for the uh, zombies. The pistol zombies sound so much more threatening than the, the shotgun zombies do. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. The, these sort of sector uh, torture devices are great. Yeah, this has a lot of Doom 64 sort of personality to it. This map does, anyway. The textures kind of have that look to them. Interestingly, Doom 64 was originally supposed to have, like, a Mayan, Egyptian theme to it. They were going to go with, like, ancient temples for the hell stuff instead of medieval castles. Um, but they changed gears because it said it didn't look like Doom anymore. But I think it would have been cool. They should have stuck with it. <laughs> Interestingly, some of these custom textures look a little bit like that. Ah, we'll need all three keys for this. There's the exit door. The Jesus Sphere, if we can get that. Ah, there's another staff in there as well. There's all kinds of goodies back there. Okay. I don't see a way in there, though, so we'll have to earn them. Okay. Oh, that's a bad room. <laughs> oh, no! Oh my god, my rockets... I can't aim them. I can't have bad rocket aim and bad timing with with the Archmile attack. That is a... Oh, that is a bad combo. Where is he going? He is moving all over the place. That was the slipperiest pain elemental I've ever seen in my life. Jeez. Hey, yeah, I'm not sure about this MIDI, though. <laughs> so far, the music's all been really good. This one, a little annoying. I think, I don't know. Yeah, a couple of those frequencies are poking my brain and not a way that I love. Yeah, give me some of these rockets. That. Oop! And a medkit. Good. Love it. Ooh, two for one. Cacos. Nice. <laughs> it's an all-you-can-eat caco special. Caco Tuesdays down at Caco Bell. Do you think? <laughs> Do you think Caco Demon meat is blue because they have blue blood? Like their their hide is definitely red. I'm thinking if you made like ground Caco Demon, if you were making tacos or something, or a Caco Demon burrito. 
You think the ground meat is blue? I think it is. I guess ground beef is red, but then you cook it and it turns brown. I think cacodemon meat, ground, ground cacodemon, is probably blue, but you cook it and I bet it turns like an olive green. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shallow, and welcome to Cooking with Cacodemons. <laughs> Let's get that key. I have a feeling there's a trap coming as soon as we grab that, right? Yep. Oh! Oh no. It's all cacos. They heard about my recipe ideas. Oh! Oh! Clever girl. <laughs> Glad I saved. Um, I don't have any cell. Oh, prayers, excuse me, not cells. Huh. Maybe I can get some distance. Yeah, as long as I don't dodge into one of these pillars, I do have enough distance to just rocket these guys. Good. Oh. Ooh, I love that slime texture. It's nothing fancy, it's just a new... It's a new animation, it's a new... New texture for that. Nice. Oops. I don't love it enough to have stepped in it on purpose. That was thoroughly by accident. There it goes. All right, so that's one key down. Um, there's a yellow key. Hee hee hee. Okay. Don't ask me how I just dodged all of that. Oh. Couldn't dodge that, so I guess, uh, you know, it all evens out. Oh, there he is. He's hiding up amongst the imps. Is there a... Oh! Okay. <laughs> Freaking archfile. Yeah, if this midi could, uh... Oh, that is rough. That is real grating on my eardrums. I'm not going to blame the MIDI entirely for my performance here. But I suspect it's probably a factor, right? It would have to be. <laughs> you started out so strong with the music. Uh... It's not like a... an awful MIDI, it's... It's not a great one, it's... it's... Sort of what you would expect out of, uh, user-made Doom levels. Sometimes you get a MIDI that's like this. But, uh, I think... It's a matter of expectations when the last couple of tracks were really good, when you've advertised your... Uh, WAD as being music-centric. And then there's a MIDI in there that's kind of like, eh. Could be in D-Zone or something. You know, it's it's more of a letdown than it normally would be. <laughs> I feel like I tried to explain why my complaint was not as big a complaint. And I think I just made it sound worse, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm still playing it. So, you know, it couldn't be that bad. <laughs> there we go. Good. One more. Yeah, got him. All right. Now let's get that yellow key in peace. This is a... Uh... Oh, that is a see-through texture, actually. Okay. I wasn't sure you could do that. I'm not sure what format this is in. Uh, clearly a format that allows for translucent mid-textures, though. I kind of thought for a moment there you had just overlaid the textures on top of each other. To make a, a single texture that, when animated, looks like a transparent layer of water over the stone. Whoa! Yeah, that is not the case. It is actually a transparent layer of water over the stone. <laughs> Come on, Mancubus, help me out, buddy. 
Oh, they never shoot when you want them to. Come on. Oh. The laziest goddamn mancubuses. They're on strike, I guess. Oh, now they shoot. Yeah, after I've already cleared all the lost souls myself. Jerks. Oh, they're really eager to shoot now. Man. <laughs> that sucked. Better RNG there probably makes that fight much quicker. Ah, well. Uh, Blue Skull. Where's that at? Is that it? That looks like it. Um, how do I get up there, though? There's some health potions I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. Through here? Yeah! Yeah! Some rockets as well? Nice. Uh, uh. Oh, they're so cool! They do feel a little bit out of place. Um, everything else in here is kind of medieval themed. The other zombies got low-tech, cultist reskins, so putting gas masks on the chain gunners seems weird. Ooh, super shotgun. It does have a little bit of a Quake vibe to it, I guess. Where you've got medieval stuff combined with sci-fi stuff. If it's cool, I'm willing to let you get away with it. And it is cool, so, you know. Congratulations, you got away with it. <laughs> I'm letting you off the hook. Hmm. How do I get super shotgun? Hmm? No, I can't make that jump. Hmm. Aha! That easy. I just opened this up. Uh. We got wall imps. That's cool. Kind of gives the impression of the, that being a spinning pillar. Of course, actually rotating the geometry isn't possible. It's just a texture scrolling across the uh, that round sector there, but it does give the illusion of movement for the whole thing. No trap when I pick that up, okay. That's unexpected. Definitely was expecting you to spring something on me there. But I won't complain if you don't. Oh, I can't I can't leave that way. I guess I have to jump down from the uh, super shotgun platform. Here we go. 69 monsters left. Nice. How bad is it going to be when we push this button? Pray at the bloody altar. Woo. Hmm. Can I get her in fighting? Oh, does she have wood legs? <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. Yes, in fight all the things, please. Yeah. I'm gonna try to save that Jesus Spear until I really, really need it. Oh, these pinkies. Is she finally fighting that Arachnatron? I think she's still shooting at me. Oh, no. She got the Arachnatron. Oh, another one. Got him. Oh. oh, okay, that was prayer ammo. Good. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I do like the little wooden bits she has on her. Oh. There we go, some more for you. Um, there should be more ammo. Yes. Here we go. Oh. 
The Necro Staff is not quite as satisfying as the BFG was. It is cool. I do like the idea of a magical equivalent to the BFG. I think it needs a cooler sound. The BFG has such a such an iconic just wind up energy blast noise. It's hard to replace that. Cultist screaming is <laughs> is pretty good. But it's not quite the same. Could I have just exited? Is this the exit? Oh, I could have just exited without uh, fighting those last waves behind me, huh? And there are shotgunners there. Way off in the distance. Is there any point to picking them off other than 100% kills? Is that the exit? It is the exit. Oh. Oh, okay, that's how you're gonna do me. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> um, what's the best angle here? I think toward the revenants. Oh, oh, oh! How do I, wait. There we go, I can lower them down. Good. Oh my god! <laughs> I am whiffing these Necrostaff shots. I don't know why they're... Uh, maybe there's some dehacked or something going on. Maybe it does do less damage than the BFG. It certainly doesn't feel as effective. Oh. Is there another cultist in here? Or did something weird just happen with the, uh, the cultist voice lines? It sounded like they were coming from not the player, but somewhere else on the map. For, for just a line or two there. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was hoping that would crash into the floor. There we go. Whew. Okay, that did not go well, but I am alive. So, you know. Praise the Lord and whatnot. <laughs> uh, that's 100% kills. Missing two secrets. Do we see him anywhere obvious? Maybe right there. That could be one. There's some weird lines happening there. Uh... Oop! Yeah, and there's two rooms that I don't seem to have explored fully. Let me see if I can make my way back there. Can I squeeze around the exit? Yes. Okay. Let's go secret hunting. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure when this opened up. It's not a great secret, so... <laughs> I'm not too mad I missed out on that earlier. Oh! And this is open. Okay, this is a better secret. Yeah, backpack? I'll take that for sure. These things must have opened, uh... When all those revenants and stuff spawned in behind me. That must have been like a clue to go back. Huh. Alright. Neat. Uh, wait a minute. That's a... That's a repeating teleport line. That's a bit annoying. That should probably just be a one-time. That way, if you backtrack, you don't have to... Go through that trap again. Well, there's Sacrificial Altar down. Uh, do we have time for one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Uh, let me grab some water real quick.
Dark Tower. How many towers are we gonna take down? Is this a clock tower? Four o'clock? Five o'clock? Five o'clock, all right. Oh, this is great. How do you do the pulsing textures like that? The lights, I mean. Is that just a sector special? I don't know, I need to play around with stuff like that more often. Oh, every time you go through one of those teleporters, it just plops you right into the middle of the most hectic thing you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, look at that doorway. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, the, it's the Baron. That's the coldest voice line. The Barons have one when they die. That's weird. Huh, I wonder if that's a mistake. Just a, a voice line has been named incorrectly or something. I'm not sure why the Barons have a coldest yell on death. Oh, come on. All right. There we go. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. So I think we're definitely out of the church areas now. This... This seems like Hell's place for sure. Oh, we've left our church behind. This is Hell's church now. Uh. So maybe, maybe this battle actually was a human edifice. And where we are now, this dark tower is Hell's sort of mirror to it. Maybe. I should check the readme to see if there's per level uh, lore. Sometimes mappers do that, and I always miss out on it because I don't, I don't stop to go to the readme between each level. <laughs> Maybe if I was on DOS, oh, I would do that if I had to load up each level separately. How did I run out of everything? Here we go, there's some bullets. Oop, shells. Good. Knight down there. Who? You! See, that's what I mean. That sounded like a shotgun. It was a pistol. Oh. Nope. Oh, the ammo deprivation is real in this one. Man, look at that. I'm gonna get killed by lost souls looking at the skybox. Oh! I got killed by Lost Souls after I stopped looking at the skybox. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, man, this room is dangerous. Because it's just open on all sides, and you've got all kinds of stuff shooting at you from a distance. There's imps. They got slow-moving projectiles. They're hard to keep track of when you're not watching them, so they'll shoot you in the back. But there's a bunch of these pistol zombies out there, too, that can just sort of chip you away with hit scan from just a million miles away over there crazy oh there's stuff down there too oh boy huh. here it's probably safest right here actually okay well maybe not anymore <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't don't come to me for safety advice. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How did I get down to 37 health already? There is a pain elemental in that window over there. That's where all these lost souls keep going from. Here. There, that should take care of him. Got him, yeah. Whew. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy before. That That is trouble. 
Remember when I was looking out at this beautiful outside the map decorative area? Look at those. Those are just huge tree sprites. They look fantastic. Oh. Uh, this is risky because I don't want to get shot at on this ledge, but there is ammo and all kinds of goodies here that I want. Uh, okay. So I could head down to the Dark Tower. Could head around this way. Could take that lost soul out. There we go. I think what I'm gonna do is wrap around this side. Yeah, that was a good choice. Oh, look at all this ammo. Okay. <laughs> the good choices have come to an end. It's all bad now. What is that? There's a there's a Bible in there. But this is very much a dead end, so. Uh nope, you get it from the other side. I can see the doorway. Okay, so we won't worry about that just yet. Nope, 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 nope. Yes! There's the exit. What did that... Oh! 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 Alright. Hey, nice. Um, let's grab it for the ammo, at least. Yeah, we've got that backpack now, so I can carry a ton. Uh, yellow and red skull for the exit. There's the teleporter. Jesus, Sphere! <laughs> Jesus Sphere is gonna make me laugh every time. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Okay. Um, so we know where the exit is now. Let's find these keys. Oh. Oh. Okay, at least I'm shielded from... Oh, you s... I tell you what, these heretics have excellent comedic timing. <laughs> the funniest goddamn infidels I've ever seen. Um, how bad does it get when we activate this? That's not too bad. Okay. I thought we would activate a trap. It's just a stairway up to the pain elemental room? What's in here? Ooh, yeah, this is where the pain elemental was. Necro staff. What did the button do? There's an invincibility over there. Oh, good, that lost soul is infighting. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Anything around this side of the island? No. I haven't found any secrets yet in this map. Hmm. And I'm about halfway done. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Oh, chain gunner. And there's a radiation suit over there. Probably implying it's worth it to go down into the lava, right? Otherwise, why would they give it to you? Oh. I think I'll probably wait to explore it, because at the moment I'm doing okay for health and armor. I sort of don't want to risk it going down there. Because if all you give me is health and armor in return, then... Really, I've just wasted a rad suit. <laughs> oh, there's a whole room of stuff up there. Here. Catch. You can have another one. I have plenty of rockets. I'm willing to share. Okay. 
I am making a mess of things, just kind of wandering around without a plan at the moment, but, uh, you know, that's a non-linear map. That's kind of just gonna happen with these sort of things by design. Oh! Did not think he was gonna get me from that angle. I thought for sure that would hit the edge of the window. We may go swimming in that lava sooner than I thought. It's gonna become worth it to go looking for armor and health. Oh, there he is. Ow. Oh. Uh. I think it's a subconscious thing. Like I know there's a berserk pack there and a rad suit there. I don't have to play as careful if I know there's a safety net waiting for me. And yeah, there's some more armor. Uh, there's a rocket launcher up there. Here we go. Bunch of rockets. Man, I gotta use the rocket launcher more. <laughs> that is a, a dangerous plan. Ooh, Jesus, Severe. All right. I've got 25% health to play with before that becomes worth picking up, so I think... Let's drop a quick save. But I think we're gonna leave it alone. What is this? Oh! I don't know why I thought I could pick that up, it's just a decorative statue. Cool. Okay. Man, that is such a disappointing boss. Uh, Red Skull, huh? But this is Yellow Skull. What? What is the red? What is that? I can't interact with it. It isn't marked on the map, it's just... It's just there. All right, weird. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. That's a that's a weird little mystery. Um, okay. Thirty-five monsters to go. Still looking for one more key, and it's probably over there in that wing of the building, right? Am I gonna have to waste the berserk to get up there, or can I take the middle elevator here? I could probably do this, right? I sort of don't want to pick up the Berserk yet. Yeah, this is going to work. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe around this way? Wait. Ammo. Can't leave that behind. I do need the ammo. Oh, there's more armor. There's so much armor laying around. Yes, here we go. Oh, wow. Those rockets did uh, some pretty good work up here, huh? That went better than expected. I'll take that. Um. Okay, yeah, don't really want you yet, but did that button do anything else? Is that a shoot switch? No. One single remnant. <laughs> Uh, almost got me, but not quite. Oh, that was disorienting. Okay, I thought that was an elevator going up. <laughs> it was walls coming down. Uh, this is a little bit Tower of Babel. Not the Doom map Tower of Babel, the concept that was adapted into the previous map. Well, you've got to go first. Where have you come from? Where did you wander in from? And are there any more of you? 
I don't see anything else. Okay. I think it's just a lone pain elemental. There we go. Ooh. Are we about to have reason to use this? Oh, probably when I get the, uh, the red skull there. Ooh, wait, what is this? Ooh, nice! Oh, that's a very cool plasma gun replacer. I love that. Ooh. I heard... I heard Archvile. I heard Archvile. Where? Where Archvile? Give me that. Ow. Oh, I would love some dynamic lights on the uh, fire. I don't think this is the right format for that, but... Uh, it would be handy. Oh, there's definitely an archfile around because the, the the monster count is going up. Where is he? There he is. Oh no, what's he doing up there? I have to go all the way around to get to him there. What? Okay. Okay. Those are some hardy monsters. Oh my god. Alright. Here, we're gonna hit him with the third one. Yeah. <laughs> Demons don't generally survive the third BFG blast. <laughs> no matter how bad you fucked up the previous two, usually a third one will, will take care of it. Alright, so one, and two, and... There's the teleporter out. We've got two kills remaining, and I didn't find a single secret. <laughs> I suspect I know where at least one is, so let me go pick that up at least. Um, and then there's some armors and things we can round up, I suppose. Let's see, is it below me? Where's the... There it is. Uh. Oh, no, I can't get it from here. I've got to drop down from up above. Wait, how do I get out? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Damn, so the radiation suit really was nothing then. It's just a, uh... Just a way to get out if you fall in the lava. Okay. Okay. Oh, the, uh... Invincibility has got to be a secret, right? We'll check. Here we go. Jesus Sphere! Oh, there we go. You can open this. Oh! Found the missing monsters. One of them, anyway. Oh! Oh, it's pain elemental in a secret. That's just mean. So you need the red key, it looks like, to open this cave up. How did you get it to not... give you the on-screen message? That's cool. I don't know what this weird altar is, but I appreciate it giving me a backpack. Yeah, the only indicator that this is a red key thing is this little guy here. But uh, the usual, you can't activate this object without the red key message, does not pop up. I wonder how you got that to happen. I didn't know you could do that. I thought that was uh, a default engine level thing. Oh, there we go. Oh. I wasn't expecting this entire sliver of land to move. There we go. And you know what? While we have this, let's explore this half of the lava. Oh, radiation suit. Actually, let's pick it up, because the invulnerability doesn't last all that long. Anything interesting down here? Um... 
No. Why not? Let's waste the last suit. Okay, one secret remaining. I don't think I know what it could be. Let's see, map. Map, what do you got for us? Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I knew it had to be around here somewhere. Because you can see little bits of this closet from other parts of the map. I was getting ready to wall hump all over this place. I wasn't expecting it to be the first <laughs> nondescript wall I clicked on. Jeez. Revenant closet jump scare. What a way to end the map. <laughs> there we go, that's the dark tower down. Suck it, Satan. <laughs> respectfully, respectfully, of course. Praise Jesus, amen. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. We'll uh, plug away at some more of Preacher tomorrow. Until then, you take it easy.